Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Ben K. Today, let's talk about another important aspect for Modelka modeling: Modelka class or Modelka data structure. In my previous video, we talked about five major data structure or Modelka classes: connector, record, block, function, and model. Today, we will go through each one of them in this video. The first one, package. See, so package in Modelka basically is a container in Modelka context. So package can contain multiple levels of sub packages. So package calls, holds all the, those components, and they're either to organize those models. Here on my right side, I sh I got a screenshot for the Open Modelka. As you can see, that it has multiple packages. For here, for this this Benke Modelka package. I have two sub packages, one is called singularity, another called a balanced model. For for singularity, I have four components, four models. Then for the balanced model, I have more models. Okay, the next one is model. So in Modelica, model is that is basic component for a system. So there are a special model called a partial model. Actually, it's used by like uh, it's used for like a uh, father model or mother model. It usually holds some common information shared by child models. It can be inherited by child models. So, for example, here I give you an example on the left side for the capacitor model. So the the basic structure for model is that you start with the keywords model, the model name capacitor, then you get some like variable or parameters here, then for the equation set you define those equations for this model, then finally you you wrap up your model with the keyword end capacitor. So I think uh, another important thing is. Here I give I summarize the key the, the key point that the model is is the re reserve the keyword in Modelica. So capacitor here is a model name. The equation is also the reserved keyword. So I will give you more details later in other videos about how do we make a Modelica model. Here I give you some example for the partial model. Just do you remember that for partial model that is it can be regarded as a father model or mother model, so that is usually holds common information shared by child models. Here I define the one model that called a capacitor, that this is a normal model in Modelica. Another one I define a partial model, I call a capacitor P. So it has the same contents with this the left side capacitor model. Then I define another model that called a capacitor Benke is tend capacitor P. So it it extend the partial model. Then I did some add something more like here for like a, the child information here like parameters. Then I do some equations here. So then finally I need to test these two model. Maybe let's go to here. Okay, yeah, there we go. So then finally, I test the model. I I make another model called a model test. This model test I have two models. One is called a capacitor A, which my default capacitor model. Another one is a my inherited model called a capacitor B. So by this way, I can compare the two models. Okay, the next one is a block. So block is different than model. Block has a causal boundary. It must have input and output. It has only signal connectors. It can contain some equations, but actually it's simply a number in and number out. So here I give you an example for the keyword for the for the block called a gain. So it has a three parts. One is called a block, then public, some equations, and some end, end keyword statement. 
So here I defined a parameter k that gets some input is my u and my output is my y. So remember that block must have input and output. So here I define the equation that basically my input is my input signal time multiplied by a constant value of k, then I get my output. This is the block. Okay, the next one is called a connector. So connector in because Modelica is component models. So sometimes you need to connect the two components. So this is where the connector comes. So usually the connector is the bridge between two components. Like it doesn't it, it doesn't have equation section. You already have the three variables. Flow variables, potential variables, and string variables. Here I give you an example that for the connector. So it's called a fluid part. I of course it has some media there. And it has absolute pressure. This is a potential variable. Another one is a flow variable. Did you see that I have flow keyword here? So that means the flow variable. Then I have a string variable here. So this this is my defined connector. So there is another important feature that I need to mention that for connector that for example here if they're in a model, if there are two fluid parts, for example A and B, if they are connected together, then that means there's something for flow variables and the potential variables. If these two variables are connected together for flow variable, that means the flow variable, the value they are equal. For potential variables, this means I type it wrong. This is for potential variable. This is the flow variable. So for potential variable, that means the potential are equal for the two connector a dot p equal to b dot p. Here, my p is my potential variable. Here, the flow variables is means do the flow add together for these two connectors uh, should be equal to zero here have flow variables I have a flow variable name called m flow because modeka is for multi-domain modeling so for for those domains there are some like preset potential variable and flow variable for example for electrics the potential variables are the voltage and the flow variable is the current. For the tran translational mechanics, so I have prediction at the potential variables, I have force at the flow variables. For rotational mechanics, I have angle at the potential variables, I have the torque at the flow variables. For hydraulics, the pressure is the potential, and the volume flow is the flow variables. For magnetics, the magnetic potential is the potential variables. And the flux is the flow variables. And similarly for thermal domain that the temperature is a, is a potential, the the flow, the heat flux is the flow variables. And we all know that for any domain, for example, for the electrical domain, so because there is a voltage difference, that's that because those voltage difference will cause the current the flow. So the same thing for thermal because there is a temperature difference. So that's why there is a heat flux there. So for example, Q equal to H dt. H A D T. For example, for the heat transfer, for this heat transfer law, that because there is a temperature difference, that's why I have, that's why I have energy flow had a heat flux. 
So that's me. That's why that we had to define the potential variables and the flow variables. Okay. The next is modelic functions. Functions are basically just a black box, like a data in, data out. So it, it doesn't have equation keywords. It you instead it use algorithm plus the derivative or internal state variable are not allowed. For example, you want to use the derivative or like a previous state. That's not allowed in Modelica. It cannot be instantiated or extended. So variable, variable is not input or output. Need to be protected. For example, if you have some that, uh, some variable that is not input, Oh, it's not output. That need to be protected. That need to be like private variables. So it so it must have input and must have output. So usually the this special equal sign is used in algorithm section. Here I give you an example. This is the structure for the function. So and you can see that the function keyword, the function name, input variable, output variables and algorithm section and, and the function and the, this input actually this this input actually is the, those argument for example if you know python programming that's your argument okay so for example i give some uh, give example here the input is x and output is y so my output and my input it has some function a mapping relation here so Next thing is the records. In Monerica record, it just basically is just a, simply a container that for the data. So it doesn't have equation keywords. Records can contain other records too. For example, the records the structure is like this way. Start with keyword records, then record name, some stuff inside. Here is the example. I define a record on my data. And the three variables I call this position, velocity, and the time. They have another record called energy data. Have some, I have some like a, a my data x. So that means I refer this record called my data. They have another data called energy. So then I can use this record in my model. For example, I call my my data a. Then I get some equation to use the data. And basically, that's the record. Okay, I think I cover all the major classes of this data structures in this video. Hopefully, I can see you in my next videos.